that I will support and defend the Constitution of the United States against all enemies, foreign and domestic, that I will bear true faith and allegiance to the same, that I will take this obligation freely without any mental reservation or purpose of evasion, and that I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter, so help me God. It is now my honor to introduce the mayor of Payson, Kenny Evans. Thank you, and thank you for being here. We welcome you to Arizona's cool mountain town, and we hope for most of you it is cooler than where you left. We, uh, we appreciate you being here, and certainly this is a historic occasion, and we hope it will be a historic event. Um, with your permission, Jeff, I'd like to lighten the mood just a little bit. Um, I've been around politics, as Gary Pierce and some of them can tell you forever, but have chosen not to participate in it until very recently, the last two years that I've been mayor, and the last two and a half years or so. Um, one of the things that probably moved me in that direction was a very good conservative Republican who happened to be a fellow farmer on Yuma Mesa. His name was Elliot Waits, and Elliot and our family and Curly Livingston, another uh, good farmer in that area, um, were often colleagues and often shared their um, words of wisdom with a young man growing up in high school in Yuma. On one occasion, I was uh, pulling up and it was hot and so I wasn't particularly interested in what they had to say but they were standing under the only shade tree on that part of the Yuma Mesa and so we all kind of migrated together as they were standing there talking about uh, politics and a number of other things the the uh, topic of conversation eventually got around to the weather as it always does with farmers and uh, at that point Curly turned to Elliot and said Boy, you know, this is really terrible. These weather forecasters just can't get right. When they predict it's going to be sunny, it's rainy. When they predict it's going to be rainy, it's sunny. When they say it's going to be calm, the wind blows. When they tell us to batten down the hatches that we're going to have a windstorm, it's calm. And uh, about that time, Elliot pulls the straw out of his mouth and flicks it off to the side and says, Listen, Curly, just be grateful those folks are only in the business of trying to predict the weather, not control it. We have the two politicians in the audience, I think, got it. We have a generation that from that time to now has determined that their fate and their role is not only to, to predict the economic weather in this country, but attempt to control it. And unfortunately, their results are about like Elliot predicted. Beware when they try to control it. It is not getting better, it's getting worse. I hope as you go through your event, you'll take the opportunity to um, get up to your elbows in the process here identify those candidates and their positions, and then truly um, have the courage to stand up for those that you think ought to win and ought to be a candidate uh, representing the GOP in this huge congressional district. Secondarily, and uh, from my heart, we welcome you to Payson. We hope you'll take the time to enjoy our community. If you haven't been down to Green Valley Park, uh, take a, a one-mile drive over there and take a look at, uh, at that park. We hope you'll enjoy some of the restaurants here in the community, and if it's uh, if it fits with your schedule, that you'll take the opportunity to spend the night here. If you need anything, um, don't call me. Uh, <laughs> if you need anything, you can go. But but uh, we do welcome you, and we hope you'll have a wonderful event, and that it'll be the first of many to come. Thank you. Jim. At this time, I'd like to uh, welcome Marty Hermanson, the now county chair, who will be our moderator for this.